In today's video, I'm going to show you why you should never use credit cards because the way that you're using them is killing you. What's going on guys? It's Uzziah, your success strategist. And in today's video, I want to show you why using credit cards is bad for you when you're trying to get good with money. Now I know you're thinking there's no way there could be any value from this video because I'm supposed to be building my credit so I can raise my FICO score. But today's lesson is gonna help you avoid some costly mistakes that could set you back for a really long time. By the time you're done watching this video, you'll know exactly what you need to do when managing your money so that if you decide to use a credit card at a later time, you can do so responsibly. All you gotta do is smash that like button. The first big problem with using a credit card is temptation. Imagine you're trying to lose weight, but you've got potato chips, pizza, ice cream, and brownies all in the kitchen screaming your name. Chances are you're not gonna lose weight with that. In fact, you'll probably put on more pounds. This is the same thing that happens with credit cards. Credit cards are very tempting and making regular purchases using your card increases your overall spending. Studies show that using cash for purchases will cause you to spend less money because you feel more emotional pain from parting ways with physical hard-earned money than swiping a piece of plastic that makes you look cool. Boy, this was a big mistake that I made in my 20s. In my 20s, I took my credit card and spent it on the craziest things like furniture, vacations, big screen televisions, and so much more. Now at the time when I was swiping that plastic, I was feeling cool and feeling grown because everybody has a credit card. But I didn't realize how long it would take me to pay back all the purchases I made. In fact, I kept spending money on all of my credit cards until I maxed them out and I couldn't keep up with the monthly payments. The problem is, this is how most people use their credit cards. They spend money on it carelessly until they dig themselves in a hole so deep that they can't get their way out of it. This is a major trap that you want to avoid. One of the most important things that you must do if you're trying to succeed at anything is to optimize your environment. Your environment needs to work for you rather than against you. So going back to the weight loss example, imagine that instead of having brownies and other ice cream in front of you, you had low calorie fruit snacks. This would be a perfect way for you to be able to accomplish the same goal using a different environment. The second big problem with using credit cards is zero planning. Listen guys, there's a time and a place to use credit cards and that ain't always. See, most people use credit cards at any given time, regardless of their mindset or their financial situation. But you shouldn't use credit cards if you don't have very good discipline. Giving a person with poor financial discipline a credit card is like giving a drunk a drink. It's only gonna work against you, never for you. You should never use credit cards if you're in debt. You shouldn't use credit cards if you still need to build your emergency savings. You shouldn't use credit cards if you can't afford to pay the full balance off every month. And you definitely shouldn't use credit cards if you haven't smashed that like button. You need to plan your credit card usage if you're going to use it responsibly to build your financial portfolio. And the problem is most people will never commit to this. That's why I say, don't use it. But Uzziah, I need to boost my credit score. How am I gonna do that if I don't have a credit card? If you already have debt, you paying your bills on time will help improve your credit. Some people use a tool called Self. It's a savings account disguised as a loan that'll send off on-time reports to credit agencies every month to boost your score. But just know that it comes with an interest rate and finance charge. And when you're done paying on it, it'll give you your money back minus the interest and fees that's been deducted from your account. The third biggest problem with using a credit card is thinking that you need one in order to survive. 
There is so much programming constantly pushed down your throat that you have to have a credit card or it's the end of the world. Oh man, I've got to have a credit card because I've got to own a home. You don't need to own a home. You can rent one. That becomes a big trap for people when it comes to dealing with credit. Another one is cars. Oh man, I need credit because I got to take out a car loan. You don't need to get a car loan if you can pay for it in cash. When I buy my cars, I pay for it in cash. A lot of times when you buy things with a credit card, it's because you're spending beyond your means. You're paying for things that you cannot typically pay for, but you're using the line of credit as extra money. Trust me, there are perfectly sound ways that you can enjoy your life without stressing and obsessing about your credit. But Uzziah, what about all of the points that I could earn with my credit card purchases? All right, so before you think about credit card points, you need to think about how the point system works. The point system is designed to get you to spend more money. Credit cards have engineered it like this on purpose. The more money you spend, the more points you rack up. So the cards are engineered for you to spend as much money as possible. You may be spending more money than you typically would, all in the name of getting points. Giving $5 away just to celebrate getting $1 back isn't a good deal. With the same amount of money you're spending just to get points, you could save or invest that money to boost your net worth. So before you use a credit card, you have to prioritize what comes first, second, and third. You can't do everything all at once. It comes in steps. So for example, right now in your personal life, are you trying to get out of debt, save money, or build wealth and focus on optimizing your lifestyle? When you're at the lifestyle stage, that's when credit card points for travel and hotel stay comes in really handy. But you shouldn't be strategizing around hotel and airfare points if there are more important parts of your finances that you need to clean up. But Uzziah, what about the security benefits that comes from using a credit card? Don't you know that using a debit card doesn't protect me from things like identity theft and fraud? Yes, that is true. But you need to consider the odds of one thing happening over another. For example, what are the odds of you getting a credit card, overspending beyond your means, versus somebody randomly coming and pulling money out of your bank account. Which one of these has happened to you in the past more than the other? You need to focus on what's more likely to happen rather than what could happen. Yes, you wanna be as secure as possible, but you don't wanna put yourself into financial ruin all in the name of protecting yourself from identity theft. Now understand, for some people, they will get to use their credit card over time. Once they've cleaned up their finances and have built the discipline to use their credit cards responsibly. For other people, getting a credit card will lead to their destruction and you should probably avoid it at all costs. At the end of the day, you have to know yourself, stay within your limits and do whatever works best for you to continue to grow. And in my program, Zero to Six Figures, I show you how to maximize your credit score, get rid of delinquencies off of your credit report, like late payments, bankruptcies, medical bills, and so much more. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more just like this, please do me a favor and smash that like button so you can help my YouTube channel grow and I can keep putting out more content. I really work hard at making these free videos so valuable for you and I could really use your help in helping me share this message with as many people as possible. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell and leave me a comment to let me know what you're going to do to fix your credit. I check out all of the comments and I'm trying my hardest to respond to as many of them as possible. So thanks so much. Until next time, keep pushing.